guys welcome back to the channel hey you're heading into the milking parlor here I'm gonna take you into my uh, my office if you will it's been a busy last week we had the, the vet out here do pregnancy checks and uh, we bring them in like we're milking them and we check them in these stalls this is a new vet my uncle retired and uh, I had to get a new guy he's out of Metamore Michigan um, it's been the third time we've had him out so we're getting to know him pretty well and here are my calendars I go off of this is how I do most of my notes I write stuff down like there's a Lutalize 37 I do it and I cross it off and anyway getting to know this veterinarian we took a liking to him he likes us so next time he's out we're gonna get him in action get him on camera but as far as the check one here's here's how i do my list this is all handwritten checked 30 cows 27 bread so some of you farmers out there know that's that's pretty good he was very impressed so he said some some good nice kind things to us and just said your feeding and everything must be right the way these cows look and so that's that was one thing that got done so all them pregnant also want to show you we got a new bull and uh let's just check him out okay we're in here's the bull this new bull we got when i got him i put him down by the dry cows and heifers down there where i did a lot of them videos and he just he's big enough but he's just timid and he's real passive and when you're down there you're down there with some tough heifers and dry cows. You're, you can't be timid down there. And he was getting beat down a little bit and roughed up. So I brought him up here. Here's a cow here that had a, had a sore leg. I've got her in here. She's resting. I don't want her getting caught up in the free stalls. And who knows? We're just going to let her eat hay and relax. And both of them. I'm trying to fatten him up. And then I'm going to turn him loose and he can do some breeding. But... He was just, he, he wasn't, he was getting pushed around, so I'm gonna, just going to baby him, fatten him up. And, I mean, that's a lot of money sitting there, that bull we bought. And we've got to protect him. Yeah, so here he is. He's about 14 months. You can just tell. Look how he is. He's, he's just a sweet little guy. And part of it, that's good. That's what I want because, you know, the better they are around you. But around these cows, they, they'll rough you up. This is a world we're living with out in the land of the giants, so. So, yeah, it's uh, February's here. January's in the books. Another mild day, 30 degrees. Never really froze here in Michigan. Um, there's the other bull. I had to get that bull and get him going because we had a big red bull, and he just got too mean. We had to get him out of here. That big guy there, he just, don't trust him, but he's, he's tame go around here i had these all fed check these feed bunks cows are drinking it's just it's been great weather for cattle and the way we feed with these silos there the silos been working great and got to watch the calves with this weather going up and down but as far as everything else it's been been a crazy february and it's 30 degrees and i'm on a regular ball cap so i want to show you we had a cow calf her third calf so uh, i was always taught now she's in her prime here she is at the feed bunk look at the bag on her we'll be milking her tonight i'll show you her calf here in a bit this 87 don't know what to do i want to get her brought say hope oh, oh, look at her that's going to be our top cow right there she's just spraying milk out right now okay small head on her she's freaking out I better leave her alone. But yeah, so she calved. That's, uh, we had a set of twins this past week. I'll show you them here in a second. Check this feed bunk. Number eight. Yep, they're cleaning it up. I might run them out some more feed. 41 eating good. Yep, they're, they're not shy, so. Moving along. Girls up at the bunk eating. Got cows in here laying down. Got that one. That's a heifer. She's laying in there backwards. I'll head up through here and I'll show you them calves that were born. Like I said, there, oh, there's that, that nice fresh cow again. 
just a busy week. Uh, I had to stay focused. I had to get all these cows written up for the vet to come, so that was important. And uh, so I didn't really get much of that on film, but I'm gonna get it next time he comes. And he, you're gonna like this guy. His name's Carl Gubert, and he's out of, like I said, out of Metamora. 68 years old or something, but still keeps it, keeps on rocking. All right, we're in here with the baby calves. There's that calf um, of the cow, fresh cow I just showed you. Beautiful. Here we got a set of twins, and then we got another, another bull there. These three are waiting on to get picked up. Like I said, we got a couple that comes and buys these bull calves, and then they'll raise them up. We don't do that here. Everything we've got here is all heifers. We don't have the room to keep the bulls, and we don't have the, I don't know, we just stick with the heifers. That's all we're going to do. Let's look at these girls in here. We've got one laying there. We've got a little friend. Oh. Okay, now these, these girls, they're, they're all, all, all half for calves, and they've already all eaten. You know, we've had, had a lot of luck having half for calves, and we've had, you know, my little brother Greg and family all chipping in to work on these and writing things down and taking good notes, communicating, and that's how you, you have healthy calves like this. I mean, they're just shining. So, look at this guy. He's laying right by the window. All right. I don't want to start him. See, this is a bigger one. She'll be getting moved out of here next. That's how he's got them. He's got them along down the line, and they just get moved to the next pen to the next pen. You got your... All the cats hanging out in their group. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm scaring them. Sorry, guys. So moving on out of here, I wanted to show you that. I'll get come back to it. I'm gonna shut this door, a little breeze. Um, there's your twins. Um, both bulls. So, and then there was a, oh man, that was just a sweet, I put that calf there, that brown and white one on Instagram, I showed everybody. That was a bull. What are you gonna do? Want it to be a heifer. This girl, heifer, okay. Um, so we're very happy about that heifer calf out of that top cow so future's looking bright on, the, on that part moving on out of that calf barn one last thing too i want to show you while i'm out here we moved a bunch of corn stock bales corn stover i'm gonna do a separate video on these bales and how we use them but Got them off the field. See, this winter's just been, it hasn't really froze solid. So during the day, if the sun comes out, it was hard to get these off the field without getting stuck. I mean, we could have used a tractor, but we like to use pickups quicker. Um, you'll be surprised. You'll find an ear of corn sticking out of here that they can munch on. We bed down with this. We don't necessarily feed them. We just let them bed, and they'll pick at it. So I want to show you that, and we're going to keep moving one other thing i want to give a shout out to my uncle jim and aunt tammy that's the veterinarian they're down in florida give me a whole whole slew of these under armor shirts i'm wearing them they're nice they're they're thin they're not so bulky but they're warm i've been wearing the heck out of them so thank you for that taking it over to the farm shop here there's a 1978 pickup in here Chev uh, gmc sierra grand that Guy's seen, dad was putting together, it was out in the back shed. He's got it in the main shed here. He's got it about done. And he's gonna put it up on an auction. So I thought I'd show you this real quick, in case anybody was interested. That's a 78 uh, full snow plow, four wheel drive, 10,000 pound gross vehicle weight. This baby's got 43,000 original miles on it. He ended up getting it off of a guy, a police chief, that never really ran it much. He just kept it at the fire station and we ended up getting it and running around a little bit. We're more Ford people, but 
Dad said, well, this is it's so, it's so original and so, I mean, this thing go right up down the road, stick shift. I mean, it's, there's your controller in there for the plow. So, we, he's got a lot of stuff around here. So as far as vehicles, tractors, we don't have room for it. He just dialed it up just a bit. I mean, this thing's bad, Lebon. Gonna put it on auction, farm auction, Albrecht auction out of Vassar, Michigan. And you get it on there, you, you log in. And this will be going on uh, next week, I think it starts. But camper special, 10,000 gross vehicle, heavy duty. Heavy duty beast of a truck. I mean, maybe some farmer's gonna want this, so just keep it in plow with the yard. You know, I'm gonna get out of here. I mean, real quick, I don't know how much of this he wants me to show. We'll have to get together and do another video, but here's, this was his show truck. I told you he's a Ford man. And then how about this, 1932 sedan. It's like a Al Capone car, man. So that's what, that's what he gets into, and he's always been into it. It's a guy that's uh, been very smart and frugal with his money and does all the repairs and rest restoration himself. So that when you can do something like that, you're saving a ton of money, it's just time. And then he, uh, my younger brother does it with him now. Greg, he's super talented. They, I mean, those guys can, they can do anything, I'm telling you. And so when you can do stuff like that, you can imagine what we're doing on the farm when you can just go to town with some breaks. I ain't worried about it. Head back to my place, catch up with you there. All right, back here at my place. Wind's kicking up. We're up on a hill here. Be out here by my wood burner. I wanted to show you. Been pretty mild, but this thing eats wood. I might do a different video on this. I had guys asking about, about doing one on this, a wood burner or wood master. I hate this shop with it. It's attached to my house. I wanted to give a thank you to my dad's buddy, Bernie. He's out of Cass City. Give me this load of wood. I mean, what can I say? I mean, you busy as I am with farming, videos, other things, being a father, having kids, Rochelle. Um, you got to cut wood. That's how I heat with this house. We have got propane, but propane just doesn't heat this thing very well. It's a, I can show you the side of it. It's a, it was a school built in 1912. My uncles would work here, or they were born here on the farm. My dad was too young. And they would walk to here and go to school. So how about that for some history? And then back in early 2000s, I ended up buying it, and they they had made it a school, a house, and I think 1970 they quit teaching school in 59. So they might have made it a house before that. But so the wood's been going good. I had some guys that know I burn wood, and they said, "How you been keeping up?" Well, thanks to Bernie, I got a whole load here. So I'm gonna be good. January's gone. I'm gonna be good through should be good through february so yeah here's my place i had to build my own shop i hooked it right onto the house i did that because as you've seen dad's it's just packed full of stuff you know he's getting that i'm getting the age where i need to have my own space for stuff anyway you can't be bothering him he's actually at a funeral right now it's the weekend so he's he had a guy his age die guy he went to school with and then um Let's see, Greg, he's he's watching his son play basketball. Mark's taking a break. We were milking this morning. And uh, you can see I like gas pumps. So yeah, this was the original country schoolhouse from 1912 that everybody went to, one room schoolhouse. Maybe leave me a, a comment down below if you wanted me to give you a tour of the house. I mean, I don't know how Rochelle's gonna like that, but it was a school, there's a huge living room in it, all hardwood floors, original from, from that year. And I hooked this big old shop on it, you know, because, you know, that's what farmers do. Well, I hope everybody's doing good out there. Um, hope you like this video. There'll be more to come this uh, following week. He's got, it's never a dull moment. So follow me at Kip Sigler Farming on Instagram and uh, see you in the next video.